Shalom and Happy New Year. We welcome all of us into the year 2021. The Lord has brought us into a new year. And the word of God tells us in Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10 that the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. The Lord has brought us into a new year and we are safe and secure in his everlasting arms and that's why today we want to take some time and celebrate his goodness celebrate his greatness celebrate his love over us uh, deuteronomy chapter 33 and verse 27 reminds us that the eternal god is our refuge and underneath are the everlasting arms it is he who will fight all our battles and destroy all our enemies and so as we go into the new year the Lord will fight all our enemies. And part of why I want to praise him today, to celebrate him, is because he has given us the victory. As we face 2021, you and I, we are more than conquerors. And so we want to pray and just begin our service this day to the glory and honor of his holy name. So from wherever you are watching us, from wherever you are receiving this broadcast, want you to feel at the feet of Jesus Christ and rejoice in his presence as we prepare to hear what God has for us in this year 2021. We love you, we appreciate you, and God bless you as we join in to celebrate the God of love. Let us pray. Father, we praise you, we honor you, we thank you, we magnify your name for having brought us into another year where we celebrate oh god that which you have done for us it has taken your hand it has taken your faithfulness to bring us where we are today king of glory and we are confident of this thing that you who began a good work in us you will be faithful to complete it and as you've started 2021 with us we know king of glory you will see us to the very end you never sleep you never slumber you watch over your children we commit our lives into your able hands we commit the service into your able hands lead us into every step that you have ordained for us this day to the glory and honor of your holy name let the words of our mouths the meditation of our hearts be be acceptable before you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Receive our praise, receive our thanksgiving, receive our worship this day. And for those who are watching us, and for those who are in the congregation this day, Father, I pray that your presence will make the difference in our lives this day to the glory and honor of your holy name. We thank you, we bless you, we honor you. In Jesus' precious and mighty name, we do pray and believe. Amen. Amen. So we thank God. We bless his holy name. And therefore we want to start and just praise his holy name this day. So welcome your neighbor. Welcome somebody at home and just tell them to feel at the feet of Jesus Christ as we begin our praise session this morning. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Yes, and we offer and we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer unto you the sacrifices of yes, and we offer and we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving. And we offer unto you. The sacrifices of praise. Yes, we bring now, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. We bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. Oh, yes, we bring now, we bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord. 
will bring the sacrifice of praise into the hands of the Lord. Yes, and we offer and we offer unto you the sacrifices of thanksgiving and we offer unto you the sacrifice, the sacrifices of praise. Yes, and we offer and we offer unto you the sacrifice, the sacrifice. Says of thanksgiving, and we offer unto you the sacrifice. Yes, and we offer and we offer unto you the sacrifice. Says of thanksgiving, and we offer unto you the sacrifice. Says of praise in heaven. He won the battle. On the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, the man of war. In heaven, he won the battle. On the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, the man of God. In heaven, in, in heaven, he won the battle. On the earth, on the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, in the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of God. 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 Praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, 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 the man of war. In heaven, in heaven, he won the battle. On the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. In heaven, in heaven, he won the battle. On the earth, on the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, in the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. 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 Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. 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 In heaven, in heaven, he won the battle. On the earth, on the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, in the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. In heaven, in heaven, he won the battle. On the earth, on the earth, he won the battle. In the seas, in the seas, he won the battle. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. 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 Oh, praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, 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 one more time. Praise, praise, praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, praise Jesus, the man of war. Praise Jesus, the man of Oh, my God. 
Just want to take time and just worship him, lift up his holy name. There is none like unto him. Want to just join us and lift your voice and declare, Lord, there is none like unto thee. We exalt your holy name. We lift you high above every other. You are exalted, King of glory. You are the Lamb who sits upon the throne. Who may tend the memory of Jabu? How to na mungire kama we we? Yes, we we ndi we mfalme. Alpha na ten omega. One zona tena mwisho twalinua jina lako Jehovah Shama Jehovah Rafa Mungu unayetuponya Mungu unayetupatia uweza wote tuna ujasiri siku ya leo kwamba ndani yako tuko salama tuko salama salmini mfalme wa ajabu ndipoza tunalinua jina lako maana umetenda mema umetenda makuu umetuhifadhi umetupatia ushindi umetupatia baraka zako ulinzi wako tumeuona na baba katika mwaka huu mpya tuna hakika mfalme wewe ndiwe Mungu mkuu wewe ndiwe mweza yote alfa na tena omega twaliinua jina lako twalibariki siku ya leo twasema wewe watosha wewe ndiwe Mungu mkuu wewe ndiwe alfa na tena omega wewe ndiwe mwanzo na tena mwisho jehova shama jehova rafa Mungu mponyaji wetu jehova shalom amani yetu jehova Nisi wewe ndiwe king of letu falme wa ajabu pokea sifa na heshima na staha na utukufu wote haleluya 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 twalibariki jina lako twalinua jina lako pokea sifa mfalme wa ajabu wewe ndiwe Mungu mkuu haleluya 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 oh we worship your lamb upon the throne we give you glory haleluya haleluya we worship you jesus Oh, umetukuka, umetukuka Tua kuheshimu Hakuna mwingine Kama wewe Wewe mungu Baba yangu Na kuinua 
umetukuka umetukuka twakuheshi hakuna mwingine hakuna mwingine yesu kama wewe we ni mungu wewe mungu baba yangu takwinua Receive all the praise, receive all the glory. Umetukuka Jehovah. Sina mwingine kama wewe. Alpha na tena Omega. Mwanzo na tena mwisho. Jehovah wewe ndiwe Mungu ishie milele. We worship you Lord. You are glorified. We thank you Jesus. Thank you Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah praise the Lord and happy new year. We are already in the year 2021 and we give glory to God. Don't we? Indeed, God is a faithful God. He took us through that very, very difficult year 2020. And he has already brought us into a new year. And that is why we say happy new year. You might wonder what is happy about the new year. We are happy in the Lord, the Lord who has brought us to this new year. And so I want to welcome you. I welcome you again and again. Welcome to this uh, service, uh, this broadcast. All those who are watching us from wherever you are, we want to tell you you are very, very welcome. We thank God for you. And uh, we appreciate God even for every one of you. And we are telling you that God has uh, something beautiful for you even in this new year. And that is why we are here. We have come together that we may uh, praise his name, that we may glorify him, that we may hear his word even towards us. And because this is a new year, we want to remind you that in this new year, God wants and expects of us to continue doing the very things that are scriptural. Um, when we praise and worship him, that is uh, sacrifices of worship to him. When we give, again, those are sacrifices of worship to God. And so I just want to remind you, Second Corinthians chapter 9, it says, But this I say, he who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. And I want to encourage you that this year, let it be a year that all of us were so bountifully that we may all reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. We don't push anybody to give. We do not coerce anybody to give, but we encourage people to give according to the word of God. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you, always having all necessity, all sufficiency in all things, may have an abundance for every good work. That is the word of God. He wants you to have a, an abundance in all that you're going to do, even in the year 2021 and even beyond. And so I have come here that I may introduce the servant of God who is coming to bring to us the word of God, uh, the theme that God has given us, even for this uh, year 2021. And you remember the scriptures say in uh, uh, Psalm chapter 119 and verse 130, it says that the entrance of your word brings, uh, gives uh, light. The entrance of God's word gives light and understanding even to the simple. And so I want you to be encouraged. I want you 
to have an appetite to hear the word of God. What is this that God is saying to each one of us, even in this, in this new year? This is the first Sunday of the year, and so I want to give you an opportunity to listen to the word of God, even as it comes forth through the servant of God, none other than our presbyter, Walter Naftali Wojambo. And so I say welcome, um, Presbyter Wojambo, to minister the word of God to the people. <laughs> We give all the glory, honor, and praise to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. This, this day we are thanking God that we are in church today. And as um, we are in church, we also welcome each one of you who will be watching us through the mass media and the social media and other forms of uh, platforms that the Lord has enabled us to put this service on. We give glory to God because he is a great God. So we declare Happy New Year 2021. Year 2020 was a great and extraordinary year, but with many challenges, losses, anxieties, disappointments, and many things that happened Things like sicknesses and diseases came in and um, they brought all kinds of troubles to us. In the beginning of year 2020, the Lord gave us his word and he told us that um, we are extraordinary people serving in an extraordinary church built, being built by the almighty extraordinary God. And all over the world, I believe and I know that um, right now everybody is declaring that year 2020 was actually an extraordinary year. Why am I saying so? Because there was a time for many months when church building doors were ordered to be closed, no gatherings to take place, but God being extraordinary using his or building his ordinary church the church invented ways and means of ministering to god's people and the church moved on even when the buildings were closed down we thank god for that and um, we thank god because he has brought us safely to this year there are those who started last year with us and um, they did not cross over but you are here with us praising the Lord, giving glory to God. So we are going to take this year and we will move, as um, uh, Jesus said, from the days of John the Baptist, the kingdom of God suffers violence, but the, ki the, but, but the violent take it by force. Or the, those who are violent or those who are in the church are forcefully advancing. Hallelujah. Now, the theme, our theme for this year, which we are going to um, emphasize, which we are going to use to guide us in all our ministry, in serving the Lord, in um, serving his people, and ministering one to another, serving one another, is uh, entitled Pursue, Overtake, and Recover All. We find that basing on um, 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8. It says, that's 1 Samuel chapter 30, verse 8 says, So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail, recover all. That is the, the main, the, the, the theme verse that we are going to use in this um, year. Uh, but to get us um, the background of the whole thing, because this being the first Sunday of uh, this year, we want to give the background, we want to give an introduction, 
and then we will uh, break it down uh, in the subsequent uh, services. So I'm going to read 1 Samuel chapter 30 right from verse 1 to give us the background of what we are going to share. 1 Samuel chapter 30 verse 1. Now it happened when David and his men came to Ziklag on the third day that the Amalekites had invaded the south and Ziklag attacked Ziklag and burnt it with fire and had taken captive the women and those who were there. From small to great, they did not kill anyone but carried them away and went their way. So David and his men came to the city, and there it was, burnt with fire. And their wives, their sons, their daughters had been taken captive. Then David and the people who were with him lifted up their voices and they wept until they had no more power to weep. And David's two wives, Ahinoam and um, Ahinoam the Jezreelites, the Jezreelites, that long word, <laughs> and Abigail, the widow of Nabal the Camelite, had been taken captive. Now David was greatly distressed for the people spoke of stoning him because the soul of all the people were grieved every man for his sons and his daughters but David encouraged himself and strengthened himself in the Lord his God then David said to Abiatha the priest Ahimelech's son Please bring the effort here to me. And Abiathar brought the effort to David. So David inquired of the Lord, saying, Shall I pursue this troop? Shall I overtake them? And he answered him, Pursue, for you shall surely overtake them, and without fail recover all. So David went he and his 600 men who were with him and came to the brook Besor where those stayed who were left behind. But David pursued he and 400 men for 200 stayed behind who were so weary that they could not cross the brook Besor. Then they found an Egyptian in the field and brought him to David and they gave him bread and he ate and they gave him a drink of water and they gave him a piece of a cake of figs and two clusters of raisins so when he had eaten his strength came back to him for he had not eaten no, he, had, he, had, he had eaten no bread nor drunk water for three days and three nights. Then David said to him, To whom do you belong and where are you from? And he said, I'm from Egypt, servant of an Amalekite, and my master left me behind because three days ago I fell sick. We made an invasion of the southern area of the Kerethites in the territory which belongs to Judah and the southern area of Caleb and we burnt Ziklag with fire. And David said to him, can you take me down to this troop? So he said, swear to me by God that you will neither kill me nor deliver me into the hands of, of, my, of, of my master. And I will take you down to 
this troop. And when he had uh, brought him down, there they were spread out all over the land, eating and drinking and dancing because of all the great spoil which they had taken from the land of the Philistines and from the land of Judah. Then David attacked them from twilight until the evening of the next day. Not a man of them escaped except 400 young men who rode on camels and fled. So David recovered all, the, um, all that the Amalekites had carried away and David rescued his two wives. And nothing of theirs was lacking, either small or great, sons or daughters. Then David took all the flocks and herds they had driven before those other livestock and, um, and said, this is David's spoil. Now David came to the 200 men who had been um, so wary that they could not follow David, whom they also had made to stay at the brook, brook Besor. So they went out to meet David and to meet the people who were with him. And when David came near the people, he greeted them. Then all the wicked and worthless men of those who went with David answered and said, because they did not go with us, we will not give them any of the spoil that we have recovered, except for every man's wife and children, that they may lead them away and depart. But David said, my brethren, you shall not do so with what the Lord has given us, who has preserved us and delivered us into our, into our hand the troop that came against us. For who will heed you in this matter? But as his part is who goes down to the battle, so shall his part be who stays by the supplies. They shall share alike. So it was from that day forward he made it a statute and an ordinance for Israel to this day. Now, when David came to Ziklag, he sent some of the spoil to the elders of Judah, to his friends, saying, here is a present for you from the spoil of the enemies of the Lord. To those who were in Bethel, those who were in Ramoth of the south, those who were in Jetir, those who were in Aro, those who were in um, Shifmoth, those who were in Eshtemo, those who were in Raqqa, those who were in the cities of um, Jerathmelites, those who were in the cities of the Kenites, those who were in Hamo, those who were in um, Korashan, those who were in Atach, those who were in Hebron, to all the places where David himself and his men were accustomed to rove. That is the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name we thank you. We praise and glorify your holy name for your goodness and mercy that you have brought us through year 2020 and you have brought us into year 2021. We give you honor because you have gathered us here to hear from you. So we commit our lives in your hands and we commit this year ahead of us in your hands, O oh God. We pray that you arise and cause all your enemies to be scattered. We pray that you arise and cause all the things in our lives to be revived, O oh God. 
We pray, Almighty God, that you move by your power, your anointing in every area of our lives. Touch us body, soul, and spirit, and make us whole. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. The back, the, in introduction, we are saying that um, last year was prophetically declared an extraordinary year because God knew what was ahead of us. God knew what was coming in um, the month of February, in January, February, March, how we would go through all the way to December. The events of that year transformed the lives of everybody in the whole world. And everybody can declare, as we said earlier on, this, this past year was an extraordinary year because many things happened and um, things uh, that caused a lot of um, challenges in people's lives. Like sources of um, um, income were destroyed, some relatives um, left us, acquaintances and uh, neighbors also left us, uh, either through death or um, running away to other countries and doing many other things. Um, our health status were um, affected in many ways in the, in the whole of that year. But thank God that he took us through the year that you and I are alive today and we are here in the church to receive the word and to praise and glorify the King of Kings. After going through all the turmoil of last year and all that we went through, it's now our time to arise from all our disappointments, all our discouragements, all the things that we went through, and now start doing something else. We need to arise from um, all our anxieties, then pursue our vision and mandate in God. We need to make sure that we overtake the enemy. We need to make sure that um, we recover all that he has stolen from us and restore that which we lost in the midst of the times. Hallelujah. When we come to the scripture that um, we read, this comes at a time after King David uh, elect or appointed or anointed, um, was running away from um, his uh, predecessor, King Saul, who, when he discovered that there was an anointing upon David, he became jealous and he started chasing him around, wanting to kill him. So after running around through Judah and Israel, hiding himself in caves, and um, uh, King Saul looking for him in those places, almost finding him, he decided to run into the land of the Philistines so that he may be protected. Just the same way, if you find yourself, you have maybe committed a crime, and um, uh, people are running after you to arrest you, and you run into the embassy of any other country, even the Kenya police, even the Kenya army cannot come into the, um, the embassy and arrest you. They will come up to the door and they will go back. They will have to look for means and ways of diplomatic ways of reaching the embassy and getting permission to get you out. But um, even that, that embassy can also organize to export you <laughs> or evacuate you to their country or any other country. And uh, the government or the police will not do anything about it. So, so um, um, David decided to do the same. He ran into Palestine land, into Philistine land, and when he ran into the Philistine land, there the king could not follow him at all. So the king went back to his palace, and David went to the king of um, the Philistines, and um, after they had talked a bit, um, uh, the, the king of, of, of the Philistines allocated Ziklag 
to David and his men for them to stay there and their families. So they stayed in Ziklag. And uh, to cut the long story short, when now the king of um, the Philistines decided to go and attack Israel, David and his men went together with them. On the way, the um, generals of um, the Philistines prevailed upon their king to, re to send David back because they could not trust him in case the battle becomes very hot and David and his men start fighting on the side of the Israelites. So David now went back, took the journey back to Ziklag, and they say that on the third day, we don't know if they had gone one and a half days, and now they were going back another one and a half days, but we are told that on the third day, after they had left Ziklag, they went back, and lo and behold, the city was burnt down. Lo and behold, their wives and their children were not there. They had nowhere even to get something to drink water. They were so distraught that they didn't know what to do. So they cried. They cried and cried and we are told that you know, they had no more strength. After crying and crying, the men decided to plan to stone David because he's one who had um, led them to go out of Ziklag and leave their wives and children. So in the, in the process of them planning, David, after he had cried and cried and also did not have strength, he decided to strengthen himself in the Lord. He knew what they were planning to do. So he decided to ask the, high, the, the priest to bring um, the effort so that he could inquire of what, was, what the Lord wanted him to do. So after inquiring, the Lord told him, he wanted to know, um, in verse 8, shall I follow this army? Am I going to overtake? Am I going to recover what I have lost? So he was told by the Lord, the Lord answered him, yes, pursue them, for surely you are going to overtake them, and without fail, you are going to recover all. Hallelujah. Imagine you coming from a trip or a mission, and then you find your estate, the whole estate is burnt down. You can't even recognize where your house was. You don't know where your people are, your family members are, and there is nobody to tell you what happened. And you don't know now what to do. Then you also don't know what happened to the city, what caused the fire, and where your people went to, whether they were burnt in that fire or they were taken away. They were very distraught. And I'm sure you will be very distraught, you will be very discouraged. That was the situation in which David and his men were at that time. So, you also may not know the direction that these people had gone. We find we have a lesson that we learn here. One of the lessons that we learn is that do not gang up with the enemies of your people to fight them. Huh? Your brethren are your brethren. Don't gang up with the enemies to fight your brethren. It has disastrous um, results. Then, another thing that we learn from, this, from the scripture here that we have read uh, as an introduction to, that we'll build on later on in the course, God can use anyone and anything to fulfill his will, his purpose, and also to help you. He used the generals of um, the Philistines to prevail upon their king to send David back. And David, when David and his men went back, they found the city had been destroyed. So, it was still in good time. 
<laughs> for them to pursue and recover. Uh, because if they had gone to the battle and they fought for several weeks, if they came back, they would not have gotten where these people went to. Maybe even the grass would have already grown, the rain has fallen, and grass has grown in the place, and you could not follow even the footsteps where the people had gone. So, David inquired of the Lord. And when he inquired of the Lord, he told him even the direction that they had gone. Because when they came and um, they um, found these people gone, they didn't know whether they had gone to the east, to the west, to the south, or to the north. Hmm? But God gave them the direction. Now, one more thing that um, we, we find is that, you know, um, another example that we can find here which um, uh, fulfills Romans chapter 8 verse 28 which says, um, all things work together for good to them that love the Lord, uh, to them that are called according to his purpose, is that, you know, he, God used Herod. Hmm? We have just come from Christmas. God used Herod to um, declare a census. And when he declared a census, he declared a census so that people could go back to their homeland and be registered there. That's how Joseph and Mary went back to, to Bethlehem so that Jesus could be born there the way Micah had prophesied and according to the scriptures that had been written. God can use, he used the generals, he used the wicked Herod, and he also used um, many other ways of uh, doing things. So, the Amalekites had um, fought what we call um, a Pyrrhic victory. A Pyrrhic victory is uh, that victory which you win, but the cost is too much. Huh? It's, so, it's too expensive for you. It messes you up. It destroys even the very possibility of, uh, or the, 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 uh, I don't know how to put it, the, the battle becomes too costly for you to bear. You win the cost of the war, but um, the, the possibility, it is possible to win the, the battle and lose the war. You can win the battle, but lose the war. The battles that you have won, you lose the war, but you know, you have uh, won some battles there. So we need to make sure that we count the cost whenever we want to go into any battle. And in war, we should have no compromise. We should make sure that when we have that which we have uh, recovered, wherever we have recovered, which we have received, we should minister and share with our brethren. Um, I think we will uh, try and cut there because of time, and then um, we will uh, continue um, in the coming uh, messages. But uh, what I would like to um, put it to you that you, know, you can only pursue, overtake, and recover if you are in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ, then you can have the courage, you can have the strength to pursue and recover. If you do not have the strength, you do not have the Lord Jesus Christ, you do not have the strength to pursue anything. You will just flow with the tide that the enemy is pushing you. So I invite you to receive the Lord Jesus Christ if you do not know the Lord Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. I will um, request all of you to pray after me and then um, to help those who are receiving the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, Almighty God, I accept that I'm a sinner. I come before you repenting of all my sins. I accept Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. Wash me, body, soul, and spirit, in the blood of Jesus, and make me whole. Transform my life and make me new. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. If you have prayed that prayer and meant it, you are now a child of God. So I would like to pray with all of us 
um, uh, to close this service so that um, we will uh, continue this message in the forthcoming Sundays and other broadcasts. Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you for your goodness and mercy that endures forever. We thank you for bringing us into this year. We pray, Almighty God, that you cause us to be successful, cause us to be prosperous, cause us to move according to the leading of your spirit in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. We pray that you go ahead of us and go with us. Minister to us and minister through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. So God bless you. Shalom, shalom. Praise the Lord, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We welcome you to this new year, 2021. The Lord was good to us, regardless of what we went through in uh, the year 2020, which was an extraordinary year. And he has brought us into this year, 2021, where we are rejoicing in the presence of the Lord, his victories over all the disappointments and discouragements that we had. We thank God that he has brought us and he has given us a theme for this year, which is pursue, overtake, and restore. So we are going to pursue, we are going to overtake, the enemy and we are going to restore all that we have lost in the midst of the years we, uh, we we have been brought through we were protected we were healed we were touched we were blessed and we are now we have not been brought into this year and we thank god for his goodness and his mercy so we give glory to him as we welcome you to come and worship with us in crisco city church which is a congregation of uh, Christ Co-Workers Fellowship that um, is internationally led by Mama Das, who is um, a co-founder of Crisco Fellowship. God bless you. Welcome. Indeed, we welcome you to Crisco City Church. We are situated in Kitisuru. Mm. I tell you, this is a place where we will worship the Lord. This is a place where you will have fellowship with brethren, yes. where there is true love, true mm. fellowship, yes. and even the ministry of the word, mm. undiluted ministry of the word of God. Yes. So we welcome you. We have fellowship, true fellowship, true love, uh, ministry to the whole man, total man. Mm. Uh, I tell you, you're very, very welcome. When you come here, you feel at home. Mm. We don't only have a ministry on Sundays, mm. even through the week, mm. wherever you are, we have virtual meetings and you're very welcome. We have home fellowships mm. and you're welcome to join them. So we ask you to send a text on that number that is showing on the screen and uh, we are going to locate you and, and, and uh, allocate you into a house fellowship that is nearest you, house fellowship that will suit you. God really bless you in this year 2021. We would like now to declare the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord cause his face to shine upon you. The Lord cause his countenance to rise upon you. Bless you, strengthen you, prosper you in every area of your life, and give you peace in every way. In Jesus' name, amen.